<laughs> what is up guys welcome back to the channel if you guys haven't already please hit the subscribe button for more juicy vlogs Woo! and today's vlog we'll be doing some garage things today we're gonna be installing our slat wall to get all organized in the garage where part might work on the car where part might put in a, a new part in the TSX and of course we've got something for the wheels we're gonna install it very soon but every time we do a project here we're always gonna make some drinks for those many, many breaks. All right, let's go, baby. Yee! And this is the device that we're gonna be making our coffee in. So depending on how strong you want your coffee, I normally put uh, one and a half tablespoons here. Putting this guy on top of your coffee mug. Putting the catch can for the coffee. Here, I'm gonna be putting just about one tablespoon of coffee grind right there. Putting this guy over it. You won't get the water as hot as like what you normally would do. We're gonna get this guy some condensed milk. I'm gonna put some uh, cream. I'm gonna put water in here. I'll we'll put it just a little bit. So we can purge it out. And we'll go ahead and pour the remaining water. Now it's empty. So this is what it looks like. Ooh, stir it up. What's missing in this coffee is some ice. There we go. All right, drinks in our hands. And off we go, baby. few months back we installed one of our best investment in the garage is these new age cabinets here looking fresh still got some yoga mat to protect the bamboo workbench but for today's video we're gonna be installing the new age slat wall Woo! this is how it's gonna be looking right there putting on some tools on here maybe let's unbox this bad boy So good, man. Diamond plated. If everything goes well, we, we might be planning to do slab walls around the garage. The slab wall system looking good. So remove these guys here so I can take some uh, measurements for the stud. So right now we're just gonna be looking for the stud with this stud finder. the brick hmm. got all the stud walls marked so we just got it mocked it up here and now let's start the drilling process Accessory pack too. We got these generic ones here. Oh, shucks. Real quick. Quick demonstration. I don't know what this is for. Mm. We got some uh, coat hangers. That's cool. So that's that for this installation. This is what it looks like. Whop it! Oh man, 
Hey, that's come guys. Finally mounting the tires onto the SSRs. Whoo! Boy, that took a minute, but we finally got all the tires and the wheels in the RAV4. And man, it's looking so good right now. Getting on the road, baby. Woo! While we wait for the tires to be mounted, we're gonna be working on this guy. What I think that every car mod should have is a decent car battery. The battery that I'm gonna be going with is the RC battery. Let's go ahead and take out the OEM battery. All right, let's go, baby. Woo! And yes, I know I need to uh, clean clean up the battery cables here. So right now I need to undo the bolts here, the J-hooks. Should be as simple as removing it, taking out the battery, putting all, all the wires aside, and that should be it. All right, let's see. Fully take out the, the bolts holding the terminal, the battery terminal. Then I'll go ahead and remove these guys here. That's the tie bar right here, the J bolts. That's on the underside of the, the hoop. That's it. You got your battery out. So, just got the battery here. And it's a piece. That's well, not too bad actually. The box is just humongous. So now what I want to do is I want to see if the OEM battery box would fit this guy. Yep, can't use it. Now I'm going to see if we could uh, salvage another OEM part. Put it part of this guy. Oh boy. Yep. No bueno. So now I literally got a bare space to work with, which I'm for sure confident with. This bad boy is going to be fitting inside. Let's go take a look. There we go. Alright. So we got these guys. It's an adjustable battery hold down. For the bolts. Maybe I could reuse the bolts actually for this guy. We'll see how that goes. So how these work is these guys. Right here will go inside of these. You can adjust it to how thick your battery is. It snaps into place, like so. Dropping the battery. Spinning around. All right, everything is all secure now. Tie it in together. Connect uh, the terminals. I guess we'll need to use these guys, the top connection bolt. Testing it out, and yes, it powers on. Let's see if we can start off this bad boy. All right, that's the finished product there. All right, let's fire up this bad boy if it's gonna start. Hoping so. Overall, I'm happy that we got the car running. I think we'll do a quick run, but that's how you install an Odyssey battery PC 1200 into an Acura TSX. We'll wrap this up, but so hopefully we'll pick up the tires and the wheels. Hopefully the tires got uh, successfully mounted onto the wheels. I will see you soon, baby. Woo -wee!
Man, I'm so excited. Finally got to mount the tires on the wheels. And almost there with the installation of the wheels. Just have to install all the suspension parts. I just want to take a moment to uh, make a shout out to Jay Lim over at Hancock Tires in Linwood, Washington. Uh, such a great guy. If you guys in the North Seattle area, I highly recommend his shop. I'll put all of his details in the description box so you guys can go hit Jay up and let him know all your tire mounting needs. With the tires mounted, one step closer to getting this car all done with the suspension part aspect of this build. Very, very soon, can't wait to see these wheels rolling with the car. My God. Very, very close. More content for you guys. So stay tuned on that one. All right, guys. You guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. And until next time, baby, this is Juicy signing out. Woo! Ah!